and welcome to the Southway Class Name Quiz. I'm sorry we haven't got video today, so you're going to have to listen to each question carefully from the audio. So, this quiz is all about the influential people who our classes are named after and their lives. We all know who they are, but how much do you really know about each of their individual lives? We will see. So, to start with, we are going to start with a bonus round, which is worth 12 points. So for the bonus round, you should have 12 pictures on your screen. Can you identify who is who from our class names? So the first round that we're going to be looking at is our year three class names. So these questions are based on our artists. So Dali, Turner and Picasso. Some questions are going to be multiple choice. Others you will have to put in the answer yourself. Question one. Which artist made paintings sculptures and films about the dreams he had? Is it A. Turner, B. Picasso or C. Dali? Question two. One of our artists rushed to the House of Parliament when he heard that it was on fire to capture the flames in a painting. But who was it? Was it A. Turner, B. Picasso or C. Dali? Question three is a true or false question. So true or false, Picasso has 23 words in his name. Is that A, true or B, false? And question four. Who painted this painting that you can see on your screen of London Bridge? Was it A. Turner, B. Picasso, or C. Dali? Question five, about age this time. How old was Picasso when he created his first oil painting, The Picador? Was he A. Eight, B. Fifteen, C, 12, or D, 25? And on to our... And question six. So one of our artists was known for doing various stunts and once he filled a limo with cauliflowers and drove through the streets of Paris, handing them out to very confused Parisians. But which one of our artists do you think it was? A. Turner, B. Picasso, or C. Dali? So, in the next round, as you will have guessed, we'll be looking at our year four class names. So these questions are based on our authors, Rowling, Shakespeare and Dickens. Again, some questions are multiple choice, whereas others you'll have to put in the answer. So question one. What was the name of the London theatre that Shakespeare is commonly associated with? There's a famous London theatre that Shakespeare is associated with. What is its name? Question two got a true or false question for you this time. True or false, nobody knows how Shakespeare's last name was spelled, as in history, it is spelled over 80 different ways. 
Do you think that's true or do you think it's false? Question three. So Charles Dickens had a different job before he became a famous author. But what do you think it was? Do you think A, he was a chef, B, he was a journalist, or C, he was an undertaker? So we're thinking about Charles Dickens this time in his book, Oliver. So what was the name of the cheery chap who makes friends with Oliver Twist and introduces him to Fagin's pick? Fucking gang. Is it A the Jammy Dodger, B the Artful Dodger, or C Roger the Dodger? Who do you think it was? A the Jammy Dodger, B the Artful Dodger, or C Roger the Dodger? And the last two questions are for you, Harry Potter fans, for Rowling. So, question five What is the title? of the seventh and final book in the Harry Potter series. Harry Potter and A, The Deathly Hallows, B, The Deathly Hedgehogs, C, The Deathly Horseshoes, or D, The Deathly Nightshade. And finally, question six, another Harry Potter one there for you. In the Harry Potter series, and a little bit harder this time, how many players are there in a Quidditch team? A, 6, B, 7, C, 8, or D, 9? What do you think it might be? Okay, this time we are moving on to the scientists among us. So, Scientists with year five, so these questions are based on Einstein, Hawking and Curie. So question one, which scientist is the only person to ever win two Nobel Prizes in two separate sciences? Do you think it's A, Curie, B, Hawking or C, Einstein? So they won two Nobel Prizes in two separate sciences and they're the only person to ever do it. Question two. So one of our sciences was awarded the title of CBE, Commander of the British Empire by the Queen. But which of our scientists do you think it was? A. Curie. B. Hawking or C. Einstein? Question three. What do you think that Einstein's father gave him that sparked his interest in science? So I've given you three options here. Did Einstein's father give him a toy car, a compass or a grand piano? So he gave him something that sparked his interest in science, got him excited about it. Was it a toy car, a compass, or a grand piano? So Marie Curie's notebooks are still radioactive. Is that A, true, or B, false? So question five is, at what age did Albert Einstein learn to read? At what age? Did Albert Einstein learn to read? Was it A, 4, B, 6, C, 9 or D, 11? And question 6. Stephen Hawking made an appearance on The Simpsons. Is that A, true or B, false? Okay, so we've looked at our artists in year 3. We've looked at our authors in year 4. Our scientists in year Five, and now we are on to year six. So, year six, we are going to be looking at Churchill, Mandela and Pankhurst. Let's see how much you remember about each of these figures. Question one. 
Winston Churchill served as Prime Minister three times. Is that A true or B false? So did he serve as Prime Minister three times? A true, B false. So Emmeline Pankhurst, who was actually named as the most influential woman in the 20th century, the question is, what was she known for? So was she known, A, because she was the first woman to work in a factory, B, because she fought for British women's rights to vote, or C, because she was the first woman to fly across the channel. So what was she well known for? Question three. So Winston Churchill is known for leading Great Britain through a war. What was that war? A, was it World War One? B, was it World War Two? Or C, was it the Hundred Years' War? Question four is about Nelson Mandela. So what government position was Nelson Mandela elected to in 1994? Was it A, did he become the king? B, the governor? C, a president? Or D, the mayor? So he was elected in 1994 to a government position. What was it? Question five, back to Pankhurst. She had a favourite slogan, so a saying. What was it? Was it A, be the change that you wish to see in the world? B, without action, we aren't going anywhere. C, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. Or D, deeds not words. So what was her favourite slogan? And our final question is question six. So how long did Nelson Mandela spend in prison? So he spent some time in prison. How long was that for? A, six months. B, 27 years. C, nine years. Or D, two years. How long did he spend in prison? prison. And on to the answers to the Southway class name quiz. So you could have got 12 points in this bonus round. So number one was Rowling, two was Turner, three was Picasso, four was Shakespeare, five was Einstein, six was Dickens, seven was Mandela, eight was Churchill, nine was Pankhurst, ten was Dali, 11 was Curie and 12 was Hawking. And on to year three answers of our artists. So, question one was which artist made paintings, sculptures and films about the dreams he had? And that was Dali. As you can see in the painting on the left hand side, he painted melting clocks. But he also painted floating eyes, clouds that look like faces and rocks that look like bodies anything that was in his dreams. Question two, it was Turner who rushed to the Houses of Parliament when he heard that it was on fire to capture the flames in a painting. But others believe that actually he was, he got the inspiration from watching the fire from his rented boat on the Thames, where he was when Parliament accidentally caught on fire on the 16th of October, 1834. And the answer to question three was yes, it was true. Picasso does have 23 words in his name. His name, if I can pronounce it correctly, is Pablo Diego José Francisco de Paula Juan Nepomuñeca Maria de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santa Misma Trinidad Marta Patricio Clito Ruiz y Picasso. Actually, the Picasso comes from his mother's name, which was Maria Picasso y López. 
question four was who painted this painting of London Bridge and it is Turner. Question five was about how old Picasso was when he created his first oil painting, Le Picador. And actually he was only eight. A picador is a person on a horseback taking part in a bullfight. And his parents used to, or his dad used to take him to lots of bullfights from when he was seven. So this was one of the experiences he had and wanted to paint about. And finally in this first round, which artist was known for his stunts? It was Dali again. So once he filled a limo, and I think he did it the same with a Rolls Royce as well, filled it through uh, full of cauliflowers and drove through the streets of Paris handing them out to, as you can imagine, some very confused people in the street. Right, and on to the answers for year four about our authors. So question one was, what was the name of the London theatre that Shakespeare is commonly associated with? And that was the Globe. And the Globe Theatre that stands there now actually was built using a thousand oak trees from English forests and six thousand bundles of reeds from Norfolk for the thatched roof. The original Globe Theatre featured different special effects such as trap doors, actors lifted with wires, they even fired a cannon and used special effects such as smoke. It has been reconstructed to be as close as possible to the first Globe Theatre that is there, but actually the third it is the third version built. Question two was a true or false. Nobody knows how Shakespeare's last name was spelled, as in history it is spelled over 80 different ways. That was actually true. It is spelled over 80 different ways, such as Shapir and Shaksberg. In his own signatures, he even wrote variations, such as William Shake. So actually, nobody knows exactly how it was spelled. Question three was about Charles Dickens. What job did he have before he became a famous author? He was actually a journalist and worked for a, new, a few newspapers. Question four. What was the name of the cheery chap who makes friends with Oliver Twist? It was the Artful Dodger. Obviously a jammy dodger is a type of biscuit that you eat. Question five. The title of the seventh and final book in the Harry Potter series was Harry Potter and the Dead Deathly Hallows. And the final question in this round. How many members where they're on a Quidditch team, it is seven. You would have three chasers, one keeper, two beaters, and one seeker who would be in charge of catching the snitch. And on to the answers for year five, looking at our scientists now. So question one was, which scientist is the only person to ever win two Nobel Prize in two separate scientists? Sciences, and that answer was Curie. Interestingly enough, Curie's daughter also won a Nobel Prize for chemistry later on. Curie's research into x rays for surgery was so important during World War I. She also helped to equip ambulances with x ray equipment, and she even drove those ambulances to the front lines of the war. Question two. The answer was Hawking. Hawking was awarded the title of CBE by the Queen. And the CBE was an honour created by King George V during World War I to reward surfaces during the war effort. But now it is awarded for those making an important contribution in their area of activity, such as Hawking's own contribution to science. Question three, Einstein's father gave him a compass that sparked his interest in science. A compass just like the one you can see on your screen. Question four, Curie's notebooks are still radioactive, true or false? And the answer is true. In fact, they are so radioactive that they are too dangerous to touch and are stored in lead boxes for safekeeping. They will probably take around 1,500 years to become safe again. 
Question five. Albert Einstein learnt to read at age nine. And the final question in this round. Stephen Hawking made an appearance on The Simpsons. That was actually true. So he also appeared on many other TV programmes, such as Star Trek, and he even appeared on Road, uh, Red Nose Day in 2015. And finally, the answers for year six. Question one said, Winston Churchill served as Prime Minister three times. That was actually false. Hopefully you got that one. He actually served as Prime Minister two times. Firstly, from 1940 to 1945, where he led the country to victory in the Second World War, and then again from 1951 to 1955. Pankhurst is known as one of the most influential British women today because she fought for British women's right to vote. She noticed as she grew older that women were treated differently to men and so she became motivated to help change that. In 1903, she, along with her daughters, founded the Women's Social and Political Union and now is remembered for her hard work in the fight to help get British women the right to vote. Question three, as we said in the answer to question one, he is known for leading Great Britain through World War II. Question four, Nelson Mandela was elected to become president. He actually became the first black president of South Africa at age 77 in 1994. Question five, was about Pankhurst's favourite slogan, and her favourite slogan was deeds, not words. She believed that actions spoke louder than words. And finally, question six. How long did Nelson Mandela spend in prison? He spent 27 years in prison. Because in South Africa, white people have more rights than black people. Mandela believed that everyone should be treated the same, so he fought for change, but he was put in prison for 27 years. Amazingly, when he left prison, he wasn't angry. He just wanted peace. Well, hopefully you did really well on our Southway class name quiz. I'd love to hear how you have done, but hopefully you've also picked up some fun facts along the way. Maybe after this, you could choose one of these amazing people and research even more about their lives. I'd love to find out anything that you find out about each of these people.